folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making part four for the 9596 GMC 5.7 liter uh, drive shaft and intake gasket, valve cover gasket, major tune up replacement. Last video left us trying to decide if we were going to remove this whole bracket or not. I decided that I am going to go ahead and get this whole bracket removed. And then once I get this whole bracket removed, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the rest of the top part of the engine, uh, the throttle body. What I'm going to do here, somebody wired this in. I would like to try to find the original connectors to see if I can't just get that for that. But if I can't, then I'm going to go ahead and solder it all back together. But before I take it apart so I know what goes where, I'm going to get some colored, different color electrical tape and I'm going to color code these color code that just had a word avalanche there anyways I'm going to color code these before I cut them so that way I know what wire goes to where and all that other stuff just in case I can't figure out getting a new connector in here and um having to solder them back together so so that's where we're at folks so I'm going to go ahead and get the camera set up here I'm going to start working on getting this bracket out of here and then we're going to move over here and start getting all these electrical connectors and brackets and stuff out of the way and then get the valve covers and the intake pulled all right so hopefully I got you set up in a good spot and like I said we're going to work on removing this bracket so I can just get it out of the way and work in here without any issues I want to show you something there's a spacer on the back of this idler pulley do everything you can to try to not lose that spacer okay I've lost them before. I've had them fall off and then you gotta go find another one and sometimes they're hard to find brand new. So that was gonna, that's a 15 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna take our extension and you're gonna go right next to where your pulley was, right here. So how's everybody doing throughout this COVID-19 mess. I'll tell you what, our biggest challenge has been all of a sudden having four kids home full time. I mean, we're used to it during the summer and that what it is, is we're used to the routine of having four kids home full time during the summer. But out of the blue like that, having school canceled back in February. And then honestly, the need to homeschool them to keep them Learning and educated has just been a challenge. So, all right, so now we're gonna go for number two, which is gonna be over here. Now, normally there's a bolt down here where my arm is and my hand is, but I noticed that this one is missing it. So that's something we'll make a note of. And we'll make sure that when we put things back together, We'll put a new bolt there. All right. So now honestly, look at that. That engine's opened up real well. Okay, now we can get in here and we can really work. So it is really best just to go ahead and remove that bracket because you're gonna have to get in here and clean all this up and whatnot. And now that we've got this opened up, you can see, I mean, it's been seeping, it's wet right here. This is normal. You can see where it's been leaking right here. So this is all normal, typical maintenance that needs to be done. So I'm gonna have to get in here and clean all this up and especially before I pull it because I don't want any of this junk falling down into the valley of the engine. So I'll need to kind of scrape some of this off, but now that we're at this point, let's go ahead and start working on getting the rest of the stuff up top off so, so we can get this intake off. Alrighty, so now 
Let's get back in our groove, back in our flow, going kind of from right to left, left to right, getting things <clears throat> disconnected and out of the way. Remember, take pictures or just make mental notes of where everything goes. You should be in good shape. Looks like there's a little bit of coolant still left in here. That's fine. Mainly just wanted to get this out of the way. And I need to drain the radiator just a little bit more. No big deal. I'll leave that on there. I'm just going to stick those there. I know that one goes there, that one goes there. I'm just sticking those there just for now. Go over here. Uh, that's not going to be so easy to get into. You know what? I know how to get into that one. Come back for this bolt here in just a minute. Let's see. And everything we're we're dealing with here is going to be like size 10, 12, 13, 14 millimeters. When you're disconnecting lines like this. Try to use a line wrench. These types of things like to strip. And so that'll just lessen your chances of stripping that so you don't have to replace it. That's our brake booster vacuum. So let's see if we can lift that up out of the way. Yeah, we can do that. going to wrestle us trying to come out that's a feel line Let's see what this one's going to do yep, they're both going to they're both going to want to wrestle me so all right no big deal there we'll come back to that problem here in just a minute in the meantime
let's see. I want to continue working on this side, so I need to go get a different socket. Then I'd like to get my coil and my throttle lines out of the way. I'm gonna go grab a couple different sockets. Looks like I need a short socket 14 and like a 12 millimeter for back here. All right, so doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do much until I get my throttle body starting with my fuel lines, then pretty much my throttle body out of the way. I really can't get back in here. And I can't get over here to work. So it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. I've got a 19 millimeter wrench to hold my fitting. And then my line wrench, it's gonna be a 5 8 There we go. That was pretty easy. Okay, so that's one. There we go. Come on out of there, buddy. At least maybe now I might be able to get down in there. You know what? We're probably not hurt right now. Just to go grab a wire brush. And some of these nuts and bolts. See, they're just caked up with stuff. It makes it to where a socket doesn't want to get on there so easily. So I'm going to go grab a, a wire brush. But now that I got my fuel lines loose, I got the clearance I need to get in here, get my coil and my cables out of the way. And then from there, I'm pretty much completely disconnected now. It's time to get the throttle body out of here. All right. Now that we got those bolts cleaned up a little bit and the proper tools, Got a bolt right here. It's gonna be a little hidden. All right. There's a coil. Set that aside so we're safe for now until we can move it. Uh, where are you? Right here, underneath all the dirt and grime, isn't it? Yep. And 
and it's gonna be a struggle. That's fine. Come on. Let's see, I really need you to come out. Pry bar might come in handy. However, you can bend these lines. Don't bend them too much. I mean, you can move them around. I can't even see that bolt. That's just so nasty. It's not going to get to that. to get back there but it's just not gonna happen like that so I guess we'll just keep moving forward we'll get to that in a minute I can see what we're gonna have to do I'm gonna have to get a distributor cap and distributor out of the way which you know what before I do that I want to take the cap off and I want to turn the crank and everything to top dead center and do all that so Looks like I can get down into there. <laughs> Alright, before I completely remove that. for over here. me to kind of maneuver this however I want and need. Get some of this other stuff out of the way. That's not, that is not hand turnable. Yeah, actually, I think next, next I'm going to go ahead 
and get my throttle body disconnected. Get these marked up so I know where they go back to. Get this stuff out of the way so then that way I can get my distributor out. So that's what I'm going to do next. So I will go ahead and make another part video and this one here. I don't want to bore you too long. So <laughs> anyways, I appreciate all you guys that watch my videos and support me and the family. All that other good stuff. Um, if you have any questions, shoot them to me in the comments. Let's trade emails. Let's do everything we can to help each other out. I also love hearing your suggestions. If you see any different ways to do something, give me a holler. Let me know. I love uh, learning new things as well. So, all right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this part. This is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.